So it's uh, nearly 8 a.m. and uh, we're uh, we've just finished working on the Chris Kyle uh, uh, Jeep here. Um, we had a very short time frame to work on it, and uh, it's actually headed off to CES uh, tomorrow morning. Uh, it's got to be put on the flatbed uh, here in the next two hours. Uh, but first, there's a photo shoot before that, so. Um, it's been kind of a hectic uh, last 24 hours for us. Um, no sleep for the three of us. So, um, and David has been working his butt off <laughs> trying to get this uh, project done. Anyways, the story behind this is that uh, uh, Keg Media is putting this vehicle together for um, for the Chris Kyle Foundation. Uh, most of what you see here on the exterior is all put together by Complete Customs up in McKinney. And uh, there's tons of sponsors. I couldn't even start to list them all. Uh, a lot of this stuff was, was contri uh, contributed to for the, the build. Uh, our part of it was, you know, our, our work and everything. Uh, the, the work that we did was to uh, do the display for Powerbase for CES uh, next week. And um, I, think we, uh, I think we did pretty good. And uh, we're going to walk you through everything. Uh, just uh, forgive us a little bit, we are really tired and we have no other time to do this, so here we go. took apart the entire interior and lined uh, the floor and the side panels. Uh, we also actually went in and did all four interior door skins. Um, with this thing having the tracks on here, it's very loud, uh, so the sound skins will help combat the noise when it's driving down the road. I'm at right now. Um, I got the basic or the majority of the amp rack done. So this is all basically foam, fiberglass, and then bodywork um, on top of it. Um, the front cover that displays the power base um, amplifiers. So this is all fiberglass with uh, uh, MDF rings, and basically this screws in from the back. Uh, we talked about doing magnets. Um, being that it's going to be such a rough ride, I think bolting it down is going to be a little bit of a better um, uh, in, uh, way to do it so it doesn't pop off or anything like that. So if any of the amps ever have to be serviced, it's just bolts on the bottom and this is going to come off. So once this comes off, then you can actually service an amp, pull it out, whatever it needs to be done, put it back, wire it all back together. And then this will just go right back in. And then everything will screw back together. And basically you're done. Um, the cool thing is I made this acrylic bracket that has an inset, has two insets, one for the actual Arctic Frog Chris Kyle Foundation logo. And then the other one down here where there's going to be some LEDs. So basically this whole ring is going to light up white. I'm going to paint the whole back side of it black. So when it's in here, all you're basically going to see is just a white ring around it. And everything is chamfered out. So it's going to give it a glowing effect or a floating effect off the floor.
Alpine was kind enough to uh, sponsor this build, and they uh, supplied us with the new uh, Alpine restyle kit for the Jeep Wranglers. And this will work with uh, any Jeep Wrangler from 07 to 14. It'll integrate with your factory system, whether it be amplified or not. Uh, nice thing that it does is it integrates with your factory backup camera, uh, your factory USB, your factory steering controls, and everything works as it should from the factory. Alpine also supplied us with their uh, Jeep Wrangler unique camera that mounts right in the fifth wheel. Uh, mounts right where the center cap would be to give you a nice viewing angle whenever you're backing up. It also adds in an additional third brake light and, a, and another LED re, uh, reverse light so that you can see things that are behind you. So Powerbase gave us a three-way set of components for the front and uh, the stock locations uh, are just provide for two. So there's a six and a half down in the uh, knee bolster here and then the tweeter typically goes in the top. Um, so we had to make a place for the, the three and the, and the tweeter to work together. Uh, building the pods for this, uh, I decided that it would be a good idea to use the shape uh, from the headlights because I really like that, uh, that kind of aggressive kind of look uh, that they have. Um, so this shape right here is exactly what that, that headlight looks like. Um, and uh, it uh, took a lot of effort to try to get it to go straight back and just stop right at the edges of the, the window and the pillar and the, the floor here. Um, finished it off with some uh, uh, black vinyl and some suede. And I think, it, uh, I think it does what it's supposed to do and I think it matches uh, the feel of the vehicle. So that's a wrap people uh, on this uh, Chris Kyle Arctic Frog Jeep that we've been working on for not a long time. Uh, it's going to CES, like Dan said, uh, here shortly, actually, but we're going to do a photo shoot uh, first. Um, basically, this is what I've been working on. Um, the subwoofer to enclose uh, two of the power base woofers, three power base amps. And uh, basically what I had to go with <clears throat> was make everything look aggressive, kind of match the style of, of the vehicle itself. And once you see you know, the grill, uh, the headlights like Dan used on his pods and on the, the front windshield basically is what's mimicked on the, the front face of the subwoofer enclosure and then down on the floor. So it has that real aggressive, sharp lines, a lot of transitions. Um, I try to use um, a lot of the same components that are inside, some of the silver trim that's already inside brought back here. The white, of course, being the color of the Jeep. And red, we have somewhere in the, the front grille, so we have some accent lighting that's also red. And blue is on some of the switches on the inside and also used on the Alpine unit. So we have the red, white, and blue that goes with the whole theme too, accidentally, but that's the way it worked out. So anyways, uh, this is the amp rack. It's basically mostly a lot of foam, a lot of kerfing, um, some fiberglass. Um, I used uh, acrylic bracing on the back side, so it's braced um, to here with acrylic and then down to the acrylic window. So this is, you know, really, 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 really sturdy, especially having the tracks on there so when they're going out on the snow or out off-roading or whatever, this is going to hold up to anything that is, you know, all the bouncing around and everything like that from the rough ride on, uh, with the tracks. And also, you'll also see um, there's a Chris Kyle Arctic Frog logo <clears throat> lit up down at the bottom. That also incorporated um, basically because of the, the vehicle itself, what it is. And uh, that's basically it. So, hope you guys like it. It's been fun. And uh, it'll be at CES. So, go to Las Vegas and check it out. Send me pictures because I'm on board. Oh! <laughs>